here we are waiting patiently for the lesser known that running guy blink and you miss him wait be quiet here he comes wow what a specimen it's monday and it all starts again so where are we at the moment well, i run to Chertsey lock which is probably about two three miles from my house plan to run a half marathon today legs are feeling fantastic actually so um always the way i'm thinking oh maybe i should go back and do a time trial but no lesson learned from last week so looking to get back to the 50 mile weeks uh, maybe add a bit more speed work into my sessions and spring's coming you wouldn't see that today it's a bit miserable today it's been raining which is always typical because i cleaned both the cars yesterday and then woke up in the morning and they were covered in who knows what so come on let's crack on with a run and i'll show you some of the views along the way I was feeling good today, so I didn't want to overdo it. Started off with uh, the first mile warming up at 7.20 and then kept the miles at about seven minute mile in. Uh, stopped for a bit of YouTube filming quickly and then um, decided to maintain that pace onwards until about mile six-ish when it started raining. And then after then, I just uh, slowly increased the pace. I think 6.57, 6.45, 6.45, 6.45. Um, but then after about, I don't know, mile seven, I got this stitch and it just wouldn't go away. And I thought I was finishing on mile 10. So I thought I would carry on to 10. And so I dialed the pace back to just below seven and I'd actually run 11 miles. So I'd actually miscalculated and run a mile extra. So I know it's supposed to be a half marathon, but as I say, just listen to your body. You know, I've got a stitch. So um, probably about half a mile from home. So I could jog it and add some more miles or I might just walk it you know I'm not in any hurry so let's roll on tomorrow so look who I got today I got Molly I got Chewy you can say hello Pepper you can say hello she's just tried eating poo <laughs> isn't really nice is it you don't want to eat poo you know normally we have sheep in this field uh, it's a lovely place to walk uh, the sun's out today uh, it's gonna hit 15 degrees uh, which is the warmest temperature so far this year. Be out my shorts and t-shirt later, which is always good. And I like to get the walk done before the run, just have to loosen up my legs. And so I'm gonna crack on with the walk and I'll speak to you before the run. Go guys, let's go. So dog walk done, the sun's still out. It's quite windy. So I've got myself in a secluded position. Obviously a nice beautiful spot out of the way from all the walkers. Uh, a bit noisy from all the uh, geese, but you know, you can't win it all. So today is just a recovery run. I think it's important that after you've done a harder session to get that recovery run in, just a gentle, for me, four miles, um, just keeping it very, very gentle. Um, obviously wearing the right shoes, which for me is the React Infinity Runs, and just getting the lactate and the junk out of my legs. You know, the sun's out, you know, you could be tempted to do a faster session today but it's important to stick to the plan listen to your body so then tomorrow I can up my mileage again and then end on what I like to on a Wednesday is 25 for the week which then puts me in good stead to obviously finish the 50 for the week so anyway let's go on the run
God, it's a bit windy today. No, I mean windy, not windy. You get what I mean. So today was sticking to the plan, uh, just running out a little junk in my legs, and my legs did feel like junk. So today, as I say, just serving a purpose, so I'm good to go tomorrow. Because I guarantee if I'd have taken today off, uh, my legs would fill up this tomorrow. So, so today we'll uh, start the plan, four miles, 8.28 pace, and let's have a look to see what my heart rate was. So average heart rate, 121. So keeping it as gentle as it can be, obviously running. And now I'm gonna go have some lunch because I'm absolutely starving. Let's roll on tomorrow. Oh, of, so this is another one of my favorite places to run, which I thought I'd show you, which is Horsall Common in Woking. Um, why do I like coming here? Well, there's just hundreds and hundreds of paths. So you can just be on your own. What do they say? More green, more smiles. I can believe it. When I left this morning, it was uh, bright sunshine. And so I thought shorts, t-shirt, looking forward to the run. And now it's raining. And I don't think I'd be going this way because one, I nearly tripped over. And two, it's a bit like a swampland. Anyway, I've got something to show you. Come with me. I can't believe at the start of the video, I managed to get David Attenborough. Yeah, right. Right, so this is the place I want to show you. So we're in the middle of the woods and there's actually a beach. Yeah, a beach in the middle of the woods. So it was used for a movie called War of the Worlds. And in the summer, people actually come here and use it as a beach. I don't think they go in the water. But let me show you. There's quite a few people here actually. Some people are building sandcasts over there. So check that out. They've got sandcasts over there. That's what I love about this place. I say it's woods within woods, but we've got a, a beach, we've got silver birches, um, we've got loads of other trees. I don't know what they're called, so we just call them trees. Let's go for a run down the beach. It's just so weird, just having this in the middle. I say, imagine they cleared it all, dug it all out for the movie and it's just stayed here. So what's the plan today? Well, the plan is initially to do 10 miles, very easy. As I said yesterday, you know, we're going on that recovery run and that run at the junk. Yes, my legs can still feel it a bit today. You know, the recovery runs on magic. So we'll be about 10 miles. Uh, I'm gonna put details down on the screen. I'm still gonna listen to my body, so you know, if it ends up on seven or eight, so be it. Oh, so look at it, just all different levels. I don't know what these trees are called, but they look so good on camera, and it's just such a shame the sun's gone in. So as I say, it was a uh, hundred percent supposed to be dry today, but hey ho, can't win them all. At least I get to come out in the woods. So anyway, I've got to run home and then walk the dogs for an hour and then that's me done. So I'll speak to you tomorrow. Cheers. So I fancy fancy something a bit longer today. Uh, as I said on Monday, I was planning to do a half marathon and obviously got a stitch. So I thought I'll do a half marathon today. Fancy something a bit quicker because I'm feeling quite strong at the moment. Got the tempo next for sense. Five miles at tempo pace, uh, which is at my tempo heart rate, 155. I thought I'm feeling right today. And so I pushed on a little bit further, pushed on a little bit further and thought I might go for a half marathon PB today. We're on a 127.35. I just honestly can't believe it. You know, all this mileage and this, you know, run slow to run fast is definitely paying off. You know, I can't remember the last time I've done any speed work. So, you know, add a bit of speed work into the mix. Um, my average heart rate was only 161. So I've got about, probably about seven beats per minute. Uh, lenience there to maybe obviously run a bit quicker but I'm chuffed with that on a solo PB uh, most of it was kind of into the wind which is always the way isn't it is like you're running oh, it's into the wind oh you think oh I'll turn this way doesn't seem to be the case um, it's not that busy um, I had someone follow me on their bike which kind of helped and I think I kind of up the pace there there quickly so um, 127.35 equals 6, uh, 641 average pace. Uh, the rest of the week I'll probably change now. I won't do the 50 miles because I learned what I, 
from what I did before, you know, run a 50 mile week, done a half marathon PB and then paying the price by overtraining. You know, so it's all about them intensity points. So tomorrow we'll just drop the mileage down, probably do four or five tomorrow. Uh, we're gonna take Saturday and Sunday off because uh, it's my wife's birthday. So got to keep her happy, what do they say? Happy wife, happy life. So um, we'll do that um, and it's probably perfect timing. It just means I'll be fresh to go and got to do a 10K time trial soon. because I'd love to know what time we can do. Um, I think the Tempo Next Percents that I was wearing, you know, they're just a fantastic shoe. Probably not great for a mile. 5K, not sure about 5K in them. Um, 10K, yes. Half marathon, without a doubt. You know, they're so comfortable. My, my feet feel fine now. Um, and just love wearing them. So let's roll on tomorrow and I'll speak to you the then. sun's out. Even have to put my sunglasses on to speak to you. What a beautiful day. So today I decided to just take the day off. Um, yesterday, obviously the time trial, feel a bit tired today, legs ache, as you'd probably imagine if you've done a race or a time trial. So I'm just going to take the three days off, uh, fully charge for next week, because uh, at some point I'm looking to do a 10k time trial, so maybe next week or the week after, but you know, we'll wait and see. Um, also I want to do thank you guys for your support, um, thank you to my channel members, um, Patreon followers. Uh, put a link down there to the people who have got YouTube channels, so please support them. Uh, also got a live stream tonight on Dan Run's channel, uh, which is the Runners Roundup, which you've watched before maybe on Ben's channel or my channel. Uh, so that should be fun. It's always good chat and banter. And I think that's it. So how's your training been going? Uh, let me down in the comments. And if you're after any tips or anything, just uh, drop me a comment. And what about park run? Maybe coming back in June. How exciting! Uh, it's all you know. It's all looking really positive. So onwards and upwards, and I'll speak to you soon. Well, that was a bit high, wasn't it? Soon. I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Here we are, waiting patiently for the lesser known, that running guy. Blink and you miss him. Wait, be quiet. Here he comes. Wow. What a specimen.